Yo, so welcome everybody to another YouTube video with me. My name is still Lucas, yeah? And in this YouTube video, I want to review the Vibram V-Run. Yeah, this is this shoe here. And first of, yeah, first of all, um, yeah, the, the situation is like um, with this shoe, I have actually no clue where to start yeah um, because the situation is like um, the shoe is in size 41 yeah and it costs it costs around like um, 140 euro or 139 euro and 95 cents yeah um, but I think you can get them online for yeah 120 130 euro 110 euro yeah so they are really expensive yeah <laughs> uh, from my point of view um, but yeah this this of course uh, depends on the individual individual yeah on, on you yeah not on me um, yeah so this video this video might piss off like um, a lot of people or yeah maybe Vibram as well but the situation is like I really don't care I just want to express my um, my honest truth yeah um, because personally um, I really love Vibrams yeah I love them but um, if I pay 140 euro I definitely um, expect like yeah a very very good yeah quality awesome model and this is this is definitely not the case with this shoe yeah so I'm just I'm just doing the review to express my honest opinion and Hopefully, hopefully um, to get like a V run in the future, which is like very, very good. Yeah. So yeah, <clears throat> yeah. So let's let's start off with my with my kind of history with this shoe. Yeah. So um, my my other two vibrams um, I had like um, yeah one sec. Yeah. So I had this model and as you see this one is like really really fucked up so I had to get a new one and at this time I was living in Bangkok and it's really like kind of tricky to get those kinds of brands in Bangkok but a friend told me that I had to check it out um, in some kind of mall um, which is Rev Runners or Rev in the mall the mall yeah the mall Bangkapi yeah um, yeah, not the mall Ram Kam Hang, the mall Ban Ka Pi, yeah. So I went there, tried them on, and I was like, nice, size 41, awesome. But I knew that I would leave for Germany and that I already had like a lot of luggage, so I didn't bought them. So I just um, bought them in Germany, yeah. So I got them, got them. And when I tried them, when I tried them the first time, um, I, have to, I have to say that I only run uh, Vibrams, um, yeah, with barefoot so I don't wear socks yeah so the first time that I that I went in the shoe I instantly noticed that um, I will show you this with another model this is the LX or something like that yeah <laughs> yeah cool uh. Yeah, so what you see is, um, I will reverse it, yeah, I will bend it or take it over, yeah, and this is, well, this is, this is how it looks from the inside, yeah, this is the thumb, yeah, this is it, so you can see, like, they they did a really good job here it's really really flat you don't notice anything like with the other with the other thumbs as well yeah so it's really really good really awesome quality just perfect yeah and i also i also experienced that with this shoe yeah also like perfect and also with my other vibram that i'm showing you right now yeah <clears throat> 
So when I when I tried them, when I tried them the first time in Germany, I just went in there and I was like, what the fuck? What's that? Because the situation is that the big thumb, the um the sole of the big thumb was like really like like wobbly, anti-synchron, yeah, on both both sides. And I was really like, what the fuck is this shit? You know, like I was really like, what the fuck? Yeah. So I contacted I contacted the person um, where I where I bought this shoe yeah um, again this is size 41 um, I contacted the person and I told him hey this is like this is like shit I can't run like 30 40 yeah yeah because my plan was to run my first ultra marathon in those yeah so <clears throat> yeah Definitely, definitely uh, said this this is not happening. This is not possible for me. So um, I was I was really really lucky that I could send them back get a new one um, Yeah, so I got a new one Went in there again and experienced the same thing. Yeah, that it was like really like I just just went in there and I'm already feeling it here inside and I'm feeling it here on this position on the sole like there and it really, really sucks. It really, really sucks. Like, I have no clue if it's better with socks, but I'm, as I said, I'm running barefoot um, in those shoes. And um, yeah, it's not scalable for me. Yeah. So, yeah, this one, I haven't run with them. Don't want to run in them because it's, they, they shoe, those shoes, they don't have a value for me. So I'm going to sell them. This is why I'm doing the review. Um, because I just I'm just going to sell them and um, Yeah, what I what I what I also want to say um, because the story isn't finished um, I'm sorry. It's still a little bit early and um, I'm not used to do a YouTube video still uh, training myself for it. Yeah, so What I did what I did I live in Berlin and there are some vendors um, like official uh, Vibram partners partner stores, so I just took them went um, to a store had an awesome talk with the woman there. She was really, really friendly, really helpful. And I just I just took the, the V run that they had there. Um, I think it was size 43, 44 or something. Just went in there and just checked if it's the same with this one. Because I still thought like um that the model that I tr that I've tried in Bangkok at first was like really really good. Um otherwise I wouldn't have bought this. Yeah, would be like the, the logical conclusion of it. And what I what I what I experienced like when I took it was the black version of the shoe, but still same model, same sole, sole everything. What I've experienced was that the size 43, 44 or whatever it was, they had like like some kind of plastic plate, yeah, under or yeah, like this is the sole, and above that they had like some kind of plastic plate, yeah, which made it like really nice and smooth. So I asked the vendor, are those like beware models or what, what's, what's up with them? And she said, yeah, I can give you your size. So she went in her storage room, got me size 41. I, I, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I cleaned up my feet, you know, like with, with like, um, those kinds of, um, yeah, medical, uh, stuff that everything is like very clean and awesome. Yeah. <laughs> And um, tried them on uh, in size 40, 41, and I had the same. I had the same problem. Yeah, so I went in there. Yeah, I was really fucked up. I asked the 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 woman there. Um, yeah, if this. Yeah, because for me it's not scalable. Yeah, I, I, I can't run. I would prefer to run barefoot. Yeah, really. So, yeah, she she didn't. She she also didn't didn't really know. Um, What's up? And she also was a little bit confused, like because like the the size forty three, forty four or something had like a plastic plate um, in it. And yeah, size forty one doesn't doesn't has this. And I hope the the future or the next collection, um, which will uh, come out of which will be released, yeah, of Vibram at the end of the year. I hope um, that they will be perfect, yeah. Because as I said, I love to run in Vibrams. I love them will always run in Vibrams, um, but yeah, this quality, it really, really sucks, yeah, and yeah, 
at the end of the day, you have to decide if you can live with this kind of mistake, yeah, or production quality and blah. I can't, yeah, for me, it's definitely a no. And what I've done, what I've done, or which, which happened like very like, like just in the flow, I just bought like the previous model of it. This is the Bikila. Yeah, you see it has the same, same sole um, as the, yeah, as the V-Rum. Yeah, so this is the previous model. Doesn't have like, um, yeah, the ultra awesome quality mesh and also not those breathable holes. Um, but it's still like, it doesn't have like the, the mistake, like, like in the big, big toe. It's like really, really high quality. I love the shoe. Um, I will definitely run my first marathon um, in them. And yeah, I definitely, I definitely love them. So um, yeah, if you try it out, try out like the, the V run, if it works for you, awesome. Um, if not, check out the Bikila. It's also, the Bikila is like, yeah, as I said, it's, for me, it's perfect. It's the perfect running shoe for me, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so I hope this review um, helped you or, yeah, I could give you a little input. Um, as I said, it's just, it's just my opinion. It's just my honest opinion. And if I like something, I say that I like it. And if it sucks, I will tell you and that it sucks. Um, for me, unfortunately, the Vibram V run, um, yeah, has no value. Um, yeah, which is a little bit sad because, yeah, the Bikila, I don't know how long it will be around or purchasable because it's the old model. Yeah. So best to you, best to you as always. Peace and love from Berlin. And, um, yeah, please, um, if you like this video, of course, like and subscribe. Yeah. And yeah, hopefully see you around. Peace.